Did you just sit down and watch a documentary recently? I did. I did. I was trying to watch um, Chris and Tammy on uh, Vice, mm -hmm. and uh, I, we were unable to get it. I did not know we did not have Vice on our TV. Oh, I see. And so I was trying to pay for it. Whatever I was doing wasn't working, and then there was a suggested uh, movie. That's you know the way these things work these days. And I was like, I, I can't believe I haven't seen this, especially because... I was, you know, around during the filming. I actually have a little cameo in, yeah. in as, as does Frank the Clown. So the extended Foley family is well represented. So I watched it. Have you seen it? I have. I loved it. I loved it too. I loved it. Like my, uh, my youngest son came over. He goes, is this like a comedy? Is this real? And I go, it's definitely real. If anything, it's kind of sad right now. They set out, you know, and I was at the Legend Show. Uh, the the original one where where David was kicked out. Mm -hmm. I remember coming and, and coming to the event and being told, yeah, we had an incident with David Arquette. And unless this was some extreme long term planning by Knobs and Arquette, this appeared to be 100 percent legit. At least Steamboat felt it was 100 percent legit when he got kicked out. And then I heard, yeah, we told him if he wanted to come to the show, he had to buy a ticket, wow. which he did. So from a story arc perspective, it was a really beautifully told story. Yes. And uh, it was like a good match in the sense that, you know, he's down, there's some heat on him. He's making that comeback. He's learning to work. He goes down to Tijuana. He does the street wrestling. Lucha in the street. And Lucha in the street. And, I, you know, it's a genuine feel-good movie. And yes. then comes the Nick Gage part. Yes. You talk about cutting off a comeback yes. with a screeching halt. I had seen the clips on Nick Gage's uh, Social? The dark side of the ring. Oh, okay. I didn't see it on social. What I did not realize, and this is a testament to Marquette, okay? I finished the cell match after coming back from being unconscious. Right. Undertaker finished that match with a broken foot. Marquette actually rolled back into the ring to do the finish even after he realized he conceivably could be bleeding to death. He had a hole in his neck. He had a hole in his neck that was just spurting blood. First thing, he, he grabs it like this, so he knows he's hurt. Yes. He looks like he's in shock. But there's that part of him, so for anyone who doubts his love for the business. That tells the whole story. This is an incredible moment to me. I don't advocate it. I, I don't like the light tubes. I just, I just yeah. think that on the Foley risk-reward ratio analysis, too much a risk for too little reward. There's other things you can do that get an equal reaction or almost as good without posing nearly a danger to you, your opponent, and the fans. Yes. That's an important one, you know? I mean, I, that's an important one. You do not want to hurt the fans. You don't right. want to be in a... First of all, you don't want to do it because fans shouldn't get injured when they're at the matches. Right. Uh, now, granted, I did do some dives into the audience, you know, in Japan, but they, they like that. There's and, more control there. Yeah, it's not a litigious society. At least it wasn't when I was there. But this, uh, man, it was really... I was really touched by it. I, I, you know, I was, I loved seeing the, the warm relationship, even though Courtney Cox and David are not on the screen at the same time. Their daughter Coco, right, it, you know, is child with him and Courtney. Taught, obviously loves her dad and is just a great big sister and is on the Foley Santa, you know, okay. Santa letter thing. So the Arquettes received a visit this year from Santa on Christmas Eve as well. Um, I'm surprised, knowing your relationship, that you hadn't seen it. I'm glad you got to see I'm it. I'm so glad I did. I'm so glad I did. Highly recommended. 